welcome Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to the song series. As you may know, if you've been following the song series from the start, I've been dedicating a song to each sign that I believe represents the energy that's contained in your part of the zodiac. So before I do a quick recap on the sign, why don't we take a look at where we are in the zodiac. We are, so we've just left Gemini, which is next door to you, and I'm just going to draw you on. Cancer is right about here. So if we have a look in terms of the seasons, yes, I am running the chart around this way. I know that that's not common practice, but one of my teachers did that, uh, and I explain a little bit more about that in the introduction video of this song series. So we are going this way. We started our journey here in Aries and we came to Taurus. We were in Gemini. We were having a good old laugh with Gemini because they are so much fun. And now I think we're going to relax a little bit with you guys. I think it's been pretty busy and a very excited lead up to summer, the height of the summer sun. We're at the height we're with you guys and of course as you are ruled by the moon we're going to chill out a little bit here you know we're going to enjoy some night time night skies uh, you know the kind of thing I picture here is being by a beach and there's a huge ocean and it's night time and you can smell white flowers and maybe you have a drink in your hand and this is a beautiful part of the zodiac. It's, it's really, really lovely. Uh, before I get into your song dedication, what I tend to do is I do a quick recap on the sign and I go over some basic principles about what your sign's all about. So as I said, you're ruled by the moon, which in the kingdom of astrology is represented by the queen. So you are very regal and royal, right? We have uh, two very regal and royal signs and yours is the first. So we're going to meet the king in Leo, but you, dear Cancer, you are the queen. Your element is water. You are symbolized by the crab and your motto is I feel. And as we've been going through, everyone has a different motto. So Aries was, oh, this is, stretching my memory a little bit. I am, I think. Yeah, that sounds like, that sounds right for an Aries. Uh, but you guys are, I feel, okay? And my goodness, you do feel everything, don't you? You know, there's, a, uh, Cancerians have a very impressive intellect, uh, but just beneath the surface of that is just so much emotion and it's completely wonderful. And I tend to call it, uh, as I've written in my notes here, an ocean of emotion, definitely there's, you know, an ocean of emotion going on here. And actually, while we're on that, you know, I'm, I'm actually feeling inspired to bring up one of my Vedic diagrams, which I'm just going to do very quickly now. I might have to redraw the zodiac. You know we're at the height of summer, so it's okay. I don't need to go over that again. But I am feeling inspired to have a look at you guys through my lovely diamond-shaped uh, zodiac chart, which I love to use so much. I don't know, this, this, this shape just really makes sense to me. I've, I've used a few systems and a few different things, and where are we here, Cancer? We are here. This is you guys. And the reason I felt inspired to bring up this diagram is because there are three places of water. This is one of them. This is another, that's Scorpio, and this is Pisces here. And I see water in all of these places. And if you look at this, you guys have kind of the biggest uh, slice of ocean. It's huge. You, you've got the most ocean real estate. And that is kind of how I see it. It's kind of, it's extremely flat and wide and you cannot see land and it's just this huge ocean of emotion. You know, when I'm down here it, it, in Scorpio, I mean, that still water run, runs deep. And this, well, this kind of, I think we get a bit abstract. It's, it's a boundless, different sort of a thing going on up there. But for you guys, I do see 
this this kind of ocean when I look at charts and uh, you know if there's anyone who knows how to well how to navigate that I mean you know I think we all run into some difficulties when it comes to our emotions uh, and when you know more of the ocean well there is a potential to know more of the difficulties as well but you know that's one of the things that would make you a wonderful healer because uh, if you know that spectrum of emotion very very well well then you're very equipped to help people so that's wonderful now cancer what song have i dedicated to your sign that i think represents the energy of your sign well i've actually chosen fallen by lauren wood now this song was chosen for the film Pretty Woman and can you believe this I actually haven't seen that film which is kind of weird I know how could I have grown up and not watch such a classic hit film it has been known to happen <laughs> I remember when I was um, working in advertising I had to write a film review for Pulp Fiction and this is about 10 years ago and I remembered saying to my co-workers I actually haven't seen that film and I think there was this moment in my office space where everyone just turned and looked at me you know and there was just this dead silence and people couldn't believe that I hadn't seen such a classic and important film I did of course watch it and completed the film review but anyway I have no idea the connotation of this song and that film so if you have strong connections or connotations of this song and that film then please disregard those and just look at the song as its own standalone entity uh, and, and just click it, listen to it, feel it, and I'll tell you my analysis. You're very welcome at this point to pause the video, click on your song, have a listen, and get the feel for it, and then come back for my analysis. Or you can listen to my analysis now and then go and listen to your song. Either way, it's perfectly fine. Uh, but as for my analysis, why did I choose this particular song? I listen to lots of different music. Um, I listen to lots of different music just as a general point anyway, but I listened to lots when I was creating this series of presentations. And I did a lot of research and this one just struck me as being perfect because of the softness. There's a real softness. To me, there's a night energy in this song. I don't know why, but I feel like there's a nighttime energy that's coming across. Um, all the sounds are really soft and gentle. There's, there are no kind of um, heavy drum beats. There's no loud guitar or, and no angular sounds, no sounds with hard edges, right? Everything's soft everything's round the sound of Lauren Wood's voice is very round everything had a round feel to it you know the harp right when you hear a harp like that's not the roundest sounding that's got an angular feel to it or an edge you know there are some instruments that they just have an edge I think a, a piano the notes there also have a bit of an edge um, unless you're pressing the pedal and making it softer but you know an electric piano now that has rounded sounds that's round so to me everything sounded round in this particular song and that really worked for me um, as well there's also this kind of waxing and waning quality to the song so if you listen to the lyrics and I'll read some lyrics now and you'll see that there's this, you know, waxing, waning or there's this, um, you get the movement of the ocean or the tides of the ocean or something like that. I just got that real feel to it where it goes, you know, I can't believe it, you're a dream coming true, I can't believe how I've fallen for you and I was not looking, was content to remain and it's ironic to be back in the game. It's got this back and forth kind of feel to it. Um, and I want to tell you, you control my reign and you should know that you are life in my veins. It's a very emotional song. It's a very dreamy song. And to me, it's a very nighttime sort of a song. Um, there's beauty, there's romance, it's calming, it's soothing. 
it's just it's got all these lovely qualities that um that make us feel at home that that make us feel like oh wow now this is a place where i want to stay you know and that's what home is or home should be you know sometimes it's not you know sometimes uh, you know especially if you've got some difficult placements in that fourth house that can indicate that you might want to relocate sometimes you know um and, and if there are good planets there it can show that you might want to stay uh so depending on you know how how that pans out in your personal chart but but basically this song to me just gives that homely nurturing there's a femininity about it but then it's not so strongly feminine because her voice is a little bit borderline you know it's not you can't particularly tell one or the other um i just love it i just think it's really beautiful uh you guys are definitely so with each sign i've also been going through so why did i choose that song so i definitely oh the other there's another reason why i didn't mention that's right for each of the signs i've been talking about the song and the sound and the lyrics i also talk about the visuals now for your song cancer i looked i really searched for an official film clip or video a music video i couldn't find one and the song that I'm pointing you to I think someone's just made that they've just put their own pictures and their own words there and so but there are no visuals and that's perfect because you think about the new moon there's no visuals we don't see it you know when there's a full moon we certainly see that and some of us have trouble sleeping during a full moon you know with all the shining white light coming into our rooms but when there's a new moon we do not see it at all so your song actually doesn't have any visuals and that was another reason that I chose it for you so that's quite perfect as well but as for the next part of my presentation one of the things I've also been doing with each sign is I have been saying what's great about you what is so great about your sign and every sign is vital to the zodiac every sign offers us the most wonderful and unique things that are vital to all of life and and what is it that's so great and essential about you cancer there are so many things my goodness um i've got a note here that you guys are the romantics of the zodiac definitely as as the royal queen you know you are definitely romantic i but i i am going to say this i am going to say that the most romantic in the zodiac i do think it is leo but but you guys come very close okay so I, I am actually giving that mantle to leo but you guys are very romantic as well you know maybe well you're the queen queen of the night kind of energy you know uh and you know don't worry if you're male and have this sign i know heaps of guys with cancerian sign uh definitely when i was working in advertising so many guys were cancerians and 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 they're artistic and they were brilliant graphic designers and illustrators and film people and they did all these amazing things absolutely you guys are highly creative and talented and and amazing um so it's not yes it's a feminine sort of a sign a little bit but um you can be very masculine with this sign too uh i've got a note here that cancerians are great at making wonderful homes making wonderful places to live making a home that you want to come to and feel nurtured and and you you're great at making people feel at home you've got a gift for that you know i imagine if you're friends with someone who lives on the other side of the world and they're feeling a bit homesick they could just hang out with you and they'd instantly start to feel better you know your presence can be a home for people i think that's just wonderful uh, and not many people can do that that's a rare quality um yeah i've got a note about the the feminine sign i think the greatest strength is to be vulnerable i totally agree with that and and that's um you know brene brown is someone i've just got the note here that you know this brings about great creativity when you can be vulnerable so as i said in creative departments where i've worked uh majority of the time over the years you know um absolutely I I know highly creative people and they're all able to be very vulnerable and that's that's a real source of strength. 
Uh, and definitely, if you want to investigate any of this further, check out Brene Brown. She's the one to go to. She has lots of terrific quality lectures and content uh, about vulnerability and strength and courage and all these wonderful topics. I've got a note here, who else is vulnerable? Queen on a chessboard. That is really interesting. I was thinking about the queen on the chessboard. The queen on the chessboard, you think about it, she's got the most range of movement. She can go anywhere. She can go any direction. She can take as many steps as she wants. She's the most powerful. And that is also how I see Cancerians. Because of your range of movement in terms of emotions, You've got that scale. You know every single emotion out there. Like you really, you really have a talent and gift for that. So, you know, I think Cancerians definitely make um, tremendous counselors and psychotherapists and psychologists and all that kind of thing. You know, definitely uh, knowing emotions really, really well. So, and and that's like being the queen on the chessboard. You know, you can traverse in any direction, understand any type of person to quite a level of depth that other people can't. I think that's a magnificent quality to have. Uh, and as for a tip, one of the things I've been doing as I've been going through the zodiac is I've been giving each sign a little tip to say that if life gets a bit routine or you need to shake it up or you just need to do something different then I've been encouraging people to go to their polar opposite and take a leaf out of their book so now I think I am going to bring back the diagram I didn't know I was going to do this I didn't know you were going to get two diagrams no one else has had two diagrams so far uh, so what have we got going on here You've got extra extra value. I'm going to show you your polar opposite. So we are summer up here and we are winter down here. And oh, Cancer, you are here. I'm just going to put a C. And then your polar opposite is Capricorn. I knew that. I had to look at my screen there. <laughs> I can't, I can't draw and think at the same time, clearly. So cancer, I'm, I'm going to put C-A-N. There we go. These diagrams are pretty terrible, aren't they? Um, cancer, you guys are up here. And I'm going to tell you to take a leaf out of the book of Capricorn. What are you going to learn from Capricorn? What are you going to take from them? You're going to take a tremendous strength to keep going, even when the chips are down. That's the kind of thing that you can take from them. And that, that is my tip for you, uh, as I've written in my notes here, to learn to pick up and keep going even if you are down. And that is not easy to master. That is a tip that I would actually have for every single human being on the planet. I mean, that's what we're all here to do, isn't it? We're all here to learn how to get back up when we fall down, you know. And I always think... Um, I used to think about that a lot, even before I studied astrology in my teenage years, I thought about this concept a lot. But what is it that, you know, and you'll see an athlete and they're running and then they fall over and what is it that makes them get up? And they, they know they're losing the race. They know that they'll come last, but they get up and they do it anyway. They get up and they finish it. They get up and they go, do you know what? I'm, I'm here to do this. And... Yeah, I love that ability, regardless of sign. I mean, that's something I spend time thinking about anyway. Um, but I do think for you guys, because emotion can be, it can bog us down, we, we, we can get tangled sometimes. And, you know, maybe it isn't to pick up and keep going even when you're down. Maybe it's, it's, just, it's just as simple as how to become untangled. It's just as simple as maybe the tip is just observing and not absorbing how about that that's a better tip for you guys and I think that you can get some of that objectivity from Capricorn if you spend time in your polar opposite you'll definitely get some objectivity there you'll hang out with Saturn for a little while and he may not be the friendliest of uh, planets but you'll grow to loving him 
everyone does. So I hope you enjoyed that canter. I hope that you get to see what a vital part of the zodiac that you are and, and, and also what a much loved part of the zodiac you are. You know, your gifts and talents and strengths are admired by all, much needed by humanity and um, you're very loved. So please keep being you. Please keep shining your moonlight everywhere you go, which is so beautiful and romantic. We love it. And if you're joining me in the next song, Dedication, then I will see you in Leo.